Hello, humans. Master Dinner Flax here, bringing you a little quality content you deserve, and, uh... I got sent this, I don't remember when, but it was kind of atrocious. Uh, I could, I felt like it was, uh, entirely wrong. I felt like they missed the point of making this list. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make the real 15 cards that are so powerful they should be banned. So let's get straight into this with this low quality video. Number 15, we got Kunai with Shane. The reason this card is so powerful is because it has two really mediocre effects. And because it's associated with Joey Wheeler, you can't allow this in the game. There's not much more that can be said. Two effects, Joey Wheeler, can't happen. Number 14 is Simorg, Bird of Divinity. Uh, this card is very much like Pot of Greed where it does burn damage that you can control if you just don't set spells and traps, and that's just not fair. It's ridiculous. It's like Pot of Greed. Unbelievable. And then for number 15, we got Dark Artist. Because the fact that this card is a tour guide target, it makes its effect so irrelevant. It's unbelievable how you can just use this card as a tour guide target. Unbelievable! And then this card, Light Ray Gear Freed. Now this card, if you have five or more light monsters in your graveyard with different names, and the only monsters you control are uh, light warrior monsters, and you banish a light uh, warrior monster from your graveyard, you can negate the activation of a spell or trap. That's exactly like Pot of Greed. I don't know how they can allow a card like this with a big sh sword and shield can even be allowed in the game. Just look how big they are. It's unbelievable. And in this one for number 15, we got Condemned Maiden. This card allows you to play a quick play spell card from your hand once per duel. I I don't know how to I don't know how this is this is really unfair. You can play quick play spell cards from your hand on your opponent's turn once instead of just setting it if you play this card with 100 attack. That's ridiculous. Unbelievable. Just unfair. And then we got Lich Lord King of the Underworld for number 15. And this card, you must tribute summon a dark monster to tribute summon it. And then if it's tributed specifically for a card effect, you add it back to your hand from the graveyard. Now, this is very much like Pot of Greed, where if you tribute it, you get the card back to your hand. And I, I don't know, like, what... I don't know how you can allow a card like this to be in the game. It makes Ritual Summons and Ectoplasmer super easy to use. Speaking of Ectoplasmer, for... Oh, that's not Ectoplasmer. There it is. For number 15, we got Ectoplasmer. This is very much like Pot of Greed, where it but does burn damage by tributing a monster. And the fact that you have no control over the tribute and your opponent can do the same with your own card is dumb. It's actually ridiculous. This card's very much like Pot of Greed, and the fact that it's unfair. So, next we got Foolish Return. On the list it said Foolish Burial was actually banworthy. But the truth is, they never read Foolish Return. This card can target a card in your opponent's graveyard and put it back in their deck. Now, this is really good at disrupting... Uh, uh, number 15, we got Upstart Goblin. Upstart Goblin is very much like Pot of Greed, where you give your opponent a thousand life points. And I don't know how you can allow this. And the fact that you get to draw a card, too, is stupid. It makes your deck like 43 cards, so you play 40 cards and then you put 3 upstart goblins in it, and it just makes your deck more consistent. It's unbelievable. And then, for next, we got Dark Mimic Level 3. Uh, this card is a tour guide target. It does nothing else. Uh, it has an effect like Pot of Greed, where uh, you can it can be summoned off of Dark Mimic Level 1. And then we got... For number 15, Farfa. Because of his recent affiliation with the Brawl Blocks community, I felt like 
his time in the Yu-Gi-Oh community has to be banned from European events. And there's nothing we can really say about this. Uh, Roblox uh, recording uh, people at a public event, ridiculous. He should be banned. And then we got Monster Reincarnation. The reason this card should be banned is because it is just a cooler looking monster of Born. And that's, that's not okay. Nostalgia fans only. And then, for number 15, we got Noble Knight Brothers. Noble Knight Brothers is a really tricky one, because on the artwork, there's actually three monsters. So, how is it fair that you can play one card that's worth three monsters? That's stupid. It's actually ridiculous. That's why this card should be banned. For number 15, we got Ghost Speed. Uh, the reason this card should be banned is because in the description it says the Ghost of Christmas Dinner, and I'm actually scared of ghosts, so that's why it should be banned. And finally, for the number 15 slot, we got Launcher Spider. The reason this card should be banned is because on its back are missile launchers. Or, yeah, missile launchers. And the problem with missiles is that they can actually kill people. Missiles launch, have a massive explosive radius, while at the same time shooting shrapnel all over the place, killing people. And Yu-Gi-Oh cards should never depict murder. Haven't you seen 2003 Soccer Moms? A card like this should not exist because it has missiles on it. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you got some education on the real problems of the Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, uh, whatever it is. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. And remember, Master Dinner Flex will take your soul.